Guys, welcome back to Seapolis 2, episode 9. Guys, we're in our new amazing, freaking amazing base. Let's get on to it, guys. So, I've cleaned up a bit. I removed these towers. These are basically just taking my FPS away and doing nothing useful. I cleared up everything here and I just uh, moved everything to the storage room, which is now expanded. And I'm getting into refined storage. Now, most of you guys, I guess you've uh, seen this a thousand times, but this is quite easy. So basically you need to start off with some induction smelters, which combine a processor binding iron and redstone to make uh, raw basic processors. Then the same recipe, but uh, get gold instead of iron and you get an improved processor and diamond instead of gold and you get a raw advanced processor now combine with silicone and advanced processors if you combine these three the basic the improved and the advanced raw processors you get a raw neural processor actually let's set that to output perfection there you go and then again if you combine this raw neural processor with redstone and silicon you get the neural processor now all these processors we will be using and then of course you have the distraction core and the construction core which is never cords raw basic processors and glowstone for the construction core and then never quartz raw basic processor and redstone for the distraction core now we've made a controller which is basically this recipe right here machine casing quartz and rich iron silicon and an advanced processor a disk drive advanced processor machine casing quartz enriched iron and chest now the next thing we need is a grid which uh, takes two improved processors one destruction core and one construction core and i believe a machine casing yes all right the grid and then we need the crafting grid i believe crafting grid just need an advanced processor perfection perfection where is it there it is Crafting grid. Very nice. So I guess the final thing I want to craft is a crafter. And then we're going to combine all these things. Now the crafter needs another machine casing, a distraction core, two advanced processors and one construction core. Perfection. Ooh, refined storage done. But this is just the beginning, guys. And then we can combine the crafter. Uh, it's basically... yeah. This is much better than the iron crafter will be converted into a gold crafter and the gold crafter into a diamond crafter and the diamond crafter into the neverite crafter which can uh, hold up to 81 patterns and its speed is 125 is much much better very nice neverite crafter done all right before i set up the refined storage i also want to get some wireless energy because this is not working out all right guys for the flux network we will need a basic flux storage which needs six flux blocks and glass panes two glass panes yes we need more flux dust that's fine we can get some i've placed this thing here which basically makes dimensional shards by itself well uh, you need to place the input items but yeah you don't need to click it or anything we need to pulverize them so let's do that now this should be enough to make the six needed flux blocks nice now we actually need to make energy now how do we do that guys i guess to generate energy i'm thinking of going with a rainbow furnace now i've never done this before so let's see it seems fun right so we need uh, one type of fish furnace i believe it's cool like a soul so we'll need an iron furnace a copper furnace a silver furnace a gold furnace jesus wait guys i'll be back when i have them all noise man that takes a while guys and we need two of those yes we need two all right let's get two more netherite furnaces we need two more obsidian furnaces which need two emerald which need two diamond which need two gold jesus now we should be able to make this thing noise and then we go like a so perfect the rainbow furnace now we just need i believe we just need eight of those or nine of those yeah nine of those one two three four five six seven eight nine ten maybe ten let's make ten of those 
perfect and then again we need one of each so diamond emerald obsidian never right noise iron and copper i think that's all of them guys well let's test this out and then i guess we need coal let's make a few coal seeds actually in the back yes and an augment all right that works let's place them all place the generator augments and now like a so click let's see yeah it does need it shift click shift right click everything all the furnaces all right shift right click missing zero oh my god is that thing now generating all on it just needs all as well oh my god that's actually pretty good let's connect that like a soul then we will need to set all these to output like a soul how much that's much better and now let's connect the basic flux storage um other network search let's go public <laughs> just me create ah, flux do i need a flux no oh, flux plug of course i needed that Ooh. all right now that we have some energy we can use flux points to provide energy to everything nice wireless transmitter now i'm not sure if i want to switch guys this thing is amazing anyways disk drive let's make oh nice we don't need to, to even make it all right this goes here this goes inside priority plus 10 set very nice all right is there like a infinity infinity booster yes this is the one i actually need that Let's make that but how do we charge that all right guys i believe we will need a flux controller i just made it with camera basically it's a combination of flux dust in different ways i won't be showing this again flux controller then you go to wireless charging you select the slots that you want to be charged and just hit apply and of course enable wireless and this should charge your stuff. Yes, that is perfect. Now my wireless crafting grid is done. It's, it's charged. Right. Now how do we move everything? Perhaps we could connect this to... Hold on a sec. Hmm. It doesn't seem to be working. I've placed the link cable. It didn't work. I've connected the external storage. Not like a so, sorry. I tried it this way. And items don't seem to appear in the wireless crafting grid. Huh. All right, guys. Since those two connections don't work, the simple storage network and the refined storage, I want to transfer all these items into the refined storage and also connect these guys and these guys to my refined storage. Now, I believe the best thing would be to actually make this guy um, storage housing. Let's also make a pattern for that. Now we provide all that here. And if we go here and just start that. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that's not going to work. 3000. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to work. All right. Let's actually get a few of those. How about a 64K? Yeah, that's much better. How about the next level? Where is it? 256k yeah, that's doable right we should be able to do it nice start now how do i see if it's being made oh it's done that's amazing all right and we got oh my god 258k now let's actually transfer them how do we transfer guys i just broke the chests and start transferring the items into the refined storage after that i decided to do some building all right guys well here's some progress report um i guess it's coming along okay i decided to, i'm not sure if i did record but i had um some red terracotta here and instead i decided to go with some red never bricks 
These are absolutely fantastic for highlights. Now I'm at the final stage of the tower, at the final level. I'm thinking of going like four, I don't know what to call them, but four things going like a so. I'm not sure if I want them to go up or if I want them to go in a circle radius going back into the center. Mm, I'll think about it. And yeah, this, this thing, the front will be copied to the four sides, to the three remaining sides. Then this tower will be copied here, here, and here. And then we will get onto the middle. Now, unfortunately, I would do a time lapse, but the mod that does that, the replay mod, um, is not available, I think, for this version of Minecraft. So I guess we'll do it without any time lapses all right i'll be back with some more progress all right guys well i'm thinking of going something like that which looks fine but of course it needs some what do you call it some more details like this yes this is okay how about this oh no we're in the clouds yeah that looks okay. Well, I think that's okay. Let's copy this side to all the other four sides. I'll be back. All right, guys. Well, this is looking quite nice, actually. If I add something in the middle, it will look like uh, the Eye of Sauron. So I don't want that. Or maybe we do. I don't know. <laughs> all right, let's copy it. So this tower right here. Oh, nice. Very nice. Now let's do the same here and here. One, two, three. Bada beam, bada boom. Nice. Very, very nice. Hmm. What do you think, guys, so far? And now? And now. I need some inspiration for the middle tower. Let's see. Well, guys, the first thing I think I need to do is actually connect the four towers. So let's uh, build a wall. All right, guys, progress reports. Um, Yeah, that's the wall, the first wall down. I couldn't make it so that the levels are visible. Like from a w from far away, it, it just seems like a straight wall, you know? So yeah, if you have any suggestions, but let's move on. I'm going to copy the same here, here, and here. Guys. The inside of the walls is done, but we have a problem, a small one. I thought we had a <laughs> square base, but we actually have a rectangular base, which <laughs> I don't even remember why I did this and how I ended up doing that, which is, it's okay, I guess. Anyways, guys, all right, guys, this is it for today's episode. It's a bit short, but I really hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think about the towers and about the new base. Let me know if you have any ideas about the middle section, this section that we are standing right now, the main room. And yeah, guys, I also did record some of the dimension dungeons and I did finish up the dimensional shards quest line. So oh I did God, get the so ender nice. transformation powder, but I did think of it as boring. So I didn't show it to you guys. Anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the episode and I really hope to see you in the next one. Oh, guys, and if you did like the episode, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. That would be very, very much appreciated. Anyways, bye.